On 9th of October 2017, a small strange-shaped object entered our inner solar system. Scientists were startled, as this was the first time for any object from beyond our solar system, to have made contact with us. This was an interstellar visitor, that was discovered speeding past our sun at 196,000 miles per hour, or, 87.3 kilometers per second. Astronomers were only able to observe this object for 11 days, after which it was too small and dim to be detected. This was a historical astronomical event, that puzzled scientists all over the world. They decided to name the object Oumuamua which translates to first scout from a distant place in Hawaii. So what exactly was this object? Was it a comet or an asteroid? Well, comets are usually composed of ice and dust and have an unusual orbit and an asteroid has a notably long tail. Oumuamua did not display any of these characteristics. The object is known to have a dusty red color and is cigar shaped. However, we have no idea how it looks up close. Research shows that Oumuamua might have been wandering through the Milky Way for hundreds of millions of years, before it entered our solar system. Astronomers have known for decades that there are interstellar objects out there, but with the appearance of this object, they now have hard direct evidence that interstellar objects exist. There are a couple of theories floating around about the origins of this mysterious interstellar visitor, but we haven't reached a concrete conclusion yet. Some astronomers believe that it is a nitrogen iceberg that might have chipped off of another object like Pluto. Pluto's surface is made of nitrogen ice, and they believe that this could be the ultimate origin of Oumuamua. Maybe other distant solar system remnants could have knocked off about trillions of fragments of nitrogen ice from the surface of Pluto. This could then result in the formation of a fragile hydrogen-filled disk that is Oumuamua. The orbit of Oumuamua is quite extreme, and it has a high velocity. The trajectory of this object is unlike anything we have ever seen before, and we are certain that it is a celestial object that has visited our solar system from another. We have telescopes all around the world, such as the very large telescope, located in Chile, that has been used to monitor the Oumuamua. This telescope was used to measure the object's brightness, orbit and color. It then used the images from the Focal Reducer and Low Dispersion Spectrograph Instrument, or the FORCE in short, to analyze its characteristics. Scientists found that Oumuamua varies in brightness by a factor of 10 as it spins on its axis every 7.3 hours. This strengthened our assumption that this was not an asteroid or a comet, since no known asteroid or comet in our solar system varies so much in brightness. This also led to scientists understanding that the Oumuamua must be quite elongated, due to the that fact it varies so much in its brightness. Oumuamua is no longer in the range of any of our telescopes. It passed beyond Jupiter's orbit in May 2018 and then Saturn's orbit in 2019. Researchers believe that it will pass beyond Neptune's orbit in 2022 and head towards the constellation Pegasus as it leaves our solar system. There is a hypothesis known as panspermia which proposes that life originated in space and exists throughout our universe. It is either distributed by space dust, meteoroids, asteroids or any other space objects. Now, due to the discovery of the interstellar object Oumuamua, scientists believe that it could strengthen the panspermia theory. This means that there could be many other objects like Oumuamua. That might be vital in the transfer of life from different worlds in our cosmos. Although we don't have much information about this strange object, we can say with certainty, that it has changed space research forever. With the discovery of Oumuamua, scientists now know that there are interstellar objects out there that can make contact with our solar system. We can now explore and search for more interstellar objects, that could help us find more evidence to support the panspermia theory. We have multiple sky survey programs and even NASA's Hubble Space Telescope that are on the lookout for more visitors from outer space. Hopefully, by one day, we will be able to solve the mystery behind Oumuamua. If you liked the video do hit the like button and share. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.